Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters, although my oldest is grown and out of the house. I want to take a moment to thank all my lovely subscribers and supporters. Um, thank you for watching this video. This is a little bit different for me. Um, I haven't posted a full budget, uh, monthly budget, um, in a while. I usually budget by paycheck because um, we never know when I'm going to get paid by a certain company. Um, so I'm going to do um, a November budget. Um, I do budget every month. I just don't usually post the video because it can change so much. But what I'm going to do is get right into it. A uh, reminder, this is a budget planner by Paper by Mo on her YouTube, her Etsy, and she has a, um, a website, paperbymo.com. So please check her out. You guys know I always talk about this planner. I love it. And I will probably be, be, be buying one again. All right, so we're going to get right into this. All right, so I am hoping to zoom in enough that you guys can see this all. So first, we're going to start with income. And I have three sources of income, three main sources. Um, first is my full-time job. And for my full-time job, I, if no extra hours, no extra miles, um, it will be, it's $2,050 a paycheck. I get paid bi-weekly. So each paycheck will be $2,050, which equals $4,100 for the month of November. Now, if I get paid for the days I work from the post office, not including anything they owe me previously, it is about $500 a paycheck. So if all goes well and I at least get paid for the hours I work, it's about $1,000. And then finally, my part-time job. My smallest check, I think, so far has been $311, so that would be my absolute minimum. So I'm just going to go with $600, and we will total this up, $5,700 for the month of November is my, is my bare minimum what I will get. So if I get extra, that will be helpful. We'll see if we can make it with this for all of my sinking funds and everything else. So next, I always move on to my fixed expenses, which the first one is rent, which is $1,235 every month. That doesn't change. Utilities, subscriptions, debts, and insurance. We're going to move to the other page because... I just want to show this without showing everything else. I don't know if that is well, silly or not. All right. So um, they're already totaled up. I just want to show you real quick because these are pretty much, for the most part, fixed. Okay. So for utilities, I have three main utilities. ComEd is my electric. 150 is kind of high. I don't think it will be that high, but that was based on um, September. So October should be a lot cheaper. I'm hoping it won't even go over 100. T-Mobile, this is for a few phones, a couple iPads, and still paying for a few of those, few of those devices. And then Wi-Fi is 85. That totals 592. My debts, I have a personal loan that's $71 a paycheck. Um, Quicksilver is uh, the, pay, the card I paid off in October, but there was still some interest left on it. And then an automatic something. I can't remember what it was now. Um, automatic thing that um, that came out that I, I wasn't expecting. Um, so it'll be about $100, but then it'll be completely zeroed out again. My venture one is the one I'm focused on now. That is $300 a paycheck is what I'm choosing to pay on it. And then Kohl's. Kohl's, I did buy some clothes for my nine-year-old. I got a 40% off coupon, so of course I had to use it. Um, but we will use the clothing um, sinking fund and then, you know, pay it. I pay it off. Kohl's, I pretty much always pay off right after I use it. So that totals $957. Insurance, I have only one car now in renters. I don't think it'll be 200, but I have no idea what it's going to be now that we took the second car off of it. It was 237 before, so I'm sure it'll be less, but I'm going to go with 200 just to be safe. And then dental insurance is $53 a paycheck, so that totals 306. 
All right, so if we move down here to subscriptions, oh, here it is, the lunches, um, school lunches for my 18. Um, I spend about $80 a month, which should be changing now. They offered us a $1 a meal plan if, if she chooses to get what is actually the $1. Um, but that's what went on my um, Quicksilver card up here. So um, I'm going to... I'm still going to consider it. I know it's kind of like adding it twice, but this would be for the month coming up where the Quicksilver is for the previous month. I hope that makes sense. All right, so if we start at the top, first subscription is Netflix. Pay range is for doing laundry in the building. It's an app we use. iPass is for tolls. Grove is where I get pretty much all my cleaning supplies. I don't always spend 40 a month, but that's usually about the most I spend. I also get candles from there. Um... This is a, um, for a letter carrier fund. Apple, $3. And Audible is for audiobooks, and that's $15 a month. This totals $226 for the month of November. All right, so we're going to go back to the other page. So if we go, utilities total was $592. Subscriptions total was $226. Debts total... 957 and insurance 306. So if we total those up, $3,316. And we're going to take that from the 5700 minus 3316 equals 2000 three hundred and eighty four dollars okay so from there I always move on to my main revolving funds the ones that are always needed money in money out food gas that kind of stuff food I always do um, 200 a paycheck so 400 a month gas I have to do a hundred a paycheck so that's 200 a month Medical, I would like to do 20 a paycheck, so 40. Gifts, also I would like to do 20 a paycheck, so 40. I think almost all of these are going to be $20 a paycheck, except for mine, because I what I'm purchasing with my envelope won't be needed until we get our new home. Giving, 40. And then YouTube, 40. All right, so we're going to total this up. Ooh, this should be 20. That equals $860. And we're going to take that from the 2384. This leaves us $1,524. And we're going to move over here to these revolving funds. So miscellaneous, I usually only do $10 a paycheck, so 20 a month. Beauty, same thing. And then I think school, do I do 10 or 20? We'll do $20 a month this month. Landscaper, same thing. Costco, $40, so 20 a paycheck. Family fun, I would like to do 20 a paycheck. Car maintenance. So car maintenance, I had to deplete once again. We always do $50 a paycheck, but I swear, oh, this car has been something. Um, all right, health, $40 a page, I mean, a uh, month, and birthdays, we're gonna do $40 a month. So we'll total this up. This totals $340. And we're gonna take that from the 1524. Leaves us $1,184. To move on to, I think we'll move on to our dated sinking funds. These are all that need to be funded, <clears throat> that have a specific date they need to be funded by. My cash Christmas envelope. Um, it needs $90 to be fully funded, so we're going to do $90 for the month, which is only $40, $45 a paycheck instead of $50, so that'll be nice. Car registration, 
will be $10 a paycheck. Amazon Prime will be $5 a paycheck. Disney Plus is $4 a paycheck, so it's $8. ID theft does not need anything in this month. It will be paid in full, and I'll start again in December, so zero. Um, Thanksgiving will do $10 a paycheck. And then wedding, I always try and do at least $50 a paycheck or $100 a month. All right, so let's total these up. $248 is the total. And then we're gonna take that from the $1,184. That leaves us $936. All right, so we're gonna move back over to the other side. And this would, this would, this on this pa other page is gonna be for our long-term saving, um, fund, sinking funds, our savings, our challenges, our vacation binder. <laughs> so it's long-term uh, binder, our savings binder, our vacation binder, our challenge binder. And then I have to re replenish the emergency fund, which I took $378. Um, the car was, I want to say, okay. So what I did was I took, I had $252 in my car maintenance uh the total was i'm sorry the total for my car was 680 dollars minus the 252 from the car maintenance and i also took the 50 dollars out of my new car fund which is okay so that left me with 378 dollars i needed to um, come up with i didn't feel comfortable taking it from anywhere else so i took it from the emergency fund which it's okay because if there really is a bad emergency i will take from all these funds <laughs> All right, so that's why that's 378. That's the bare minimum that will go will go into that that fund. All right. So, we're going to go over to the other side. And let's see if we could do this all on one. Oh, yeah. I think so. Okay. So, up here for long term. Long term is glasses, graduation party passports and ortho and then student loans which are coming up in a couple months so for glasses and grad party i always do 25 dollars a paycheck or 50 dollars a month passports yeah we could do 10 dollars a paycheck ortho same thing it's going to be a while before she gets braces that's for my nine-year-old and then student loan mm. We'll just do $20, $10 a paycheck for now. I know it's going to be a bill coming up, but I'm really focused on that other debt first. All right, so let's total that up. $160 for the long term. All right, so then if we go to the savings binder, we have Ari's car, Ireland, Apple, my old bill envelope, new car, and then the month ahead, which is a new one. So we're just going to do... We're going to do $10 a paycheck, I think, for most of these, which is $20 a month. I think old bills will only do $10, $5 a paycheck. Month ahead, I think I want to do $10 a paycheck as well. So we're going to total this up. Okay, so that's $110. I'm sorry, this is so tiny, guys. Um, all right, and then vac my vacation binder, I already know it's $408 because I've already calculated how much each envelope needs before our trip in January. So there's only four paychecks left before this trip, which is exciting. All right, and then we have our 100 envelope challenge, which I don't... I didn't don't really total I just do it's basically about a hundred hundred and one dollars a week if you pull the highest and lowest so I always budget for four hundred and four dollars the zodiac challenge is a new challenge I'm doing and so I'm gonna try 20 so to put twenty dollars in each envelope both paychecks 20 so that's eighty dollars 
The investment challenge, I was only going to do the $1 a day. I'm going to try and go for $60, so $2 a day. We will see. And then my new challenge, Turkey Trot. Hmm. I think I am going to, well, it was 100 We put 10 in there, so there's $90. So it's going to be $90 for the month to get it funded by the end of the month. I hope that all makes sense. All right, so we're gonna total this up. 634 dollars. Okay, so now we have all our numbers. So we will go back over here. Long term, let's see. Long term was $160. Savings binder was $110. Vacation binder was $408 and challenges 634. Okay, remember we only have $936 left. I can already tell you we're going to go way over, but this is just my November budget. I will break it down to fit my needs better on my first paycheck. So let's total this up. $1,690. And we're going to take 900 9 We're going to take that from 936. And we are over. This is negative, so I should do it that way, okay? So we had 936 left cuz this is actually negative. I know my calculator always shows a negative cuz I subtract backwards, but Negative $754. Okay, one other thing. Um, we can add the child tax credit. Really, we're negative $254. And like I said, um, these are my bare minimum numbers. So really, we're, at, we're gonna be with minus the child tax credit, which I like to put that straight into the house fund. Obviously, um, that would be nice, but $254, I will have no problem lowering some of these categories, not putting some into some of the categories like I had to do last month um, to make it work. But right now, we're ending with a negative 754. So I'm really hoping, I know already I will have more hours than what I've had at my part-time job, and it would be really nice if the post office paid me some of that back pay. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it all made sense to you. Um, sorry for all the background noise. I think they're working on the train tracks. Wow, isn't that amazing that happened right as I said that? Okay, I'm going to try and close this out one more time without the background noise. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget about the giveaway in the previous video. I'll link it below. I'll have it in the card, I guess. Um, and check out Chris Budgets. Uh, for a chance to win the giveaway. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.